Hola a todos. Hi, welcome to this talk about Mexico. I am Raul. I am one of the Spanish teachers in the college. And today I would like to share with you some knowledge about my country, Mexico. As you might know, Mexico is in the other side of the Atlantic and is one of the 21 countries where Spanish is spoken. If you speak Spanish, you must know that you can travel all over the Americans from Los Angeles, California to La Patagonia in Argentina. I speak Spanish gives you the chance to talk with local people in the cities or small towns of Latin America and of course in Spain too. But today we are going to focus on Mexico. Mexico is a huge, a huge country with incredible history that we are going to explore to this uh, virtual tool that I prepared for you. So let's start with one of the pictures of the city that I'm going to share with you. This is Mexico City. Uh, this is a painting of the city from 1875 by Jose Maria Velasco. I'm sure that this is not the image that you have of the city because now is a metropolis full of cars, people, pollution, with too many problems. But in the past, some centuries ago, Mexico was like this. And I show you this picture because I would like to know more about your image about Mexico. Which image do you have uh, when you hear the word Mexico? When someone say Mexico? I'm sure that some of the ideas that come to your mind are, for example, mm, Mexican food, some spicy tacos, enchiladas that um, you can try in some of the restaurants, or maybe you try in one of your tri trips to Mexico. Oh, other images that I, you can see here are the full color, um, colorful of the market, uh, that they sell fruit, exotic fruit, and many, many, many things. Or oh, maybe you are thinking about some drinks, like tequila, mezcal, or if you prefer hot chocolate, remember that chocolate was introduced to Europe by Spanish many centuries ago. Other idea maybe is dancing and music. Um, this music from the traditional mariachis from Jalisco, one of the 32 state of Mexico. Or maybe in these days, you are thinking about El Dia de los Muertos, the day of the dead. It has become one of the most popular celebration. And um, as you know, on this day, it is believed that the spirit of those who pass away visit their loved ones for one night or for two. Depends uh, if you celebrate only the first of November or the second. Um, I love this celebration. And you know that this is the day where we offer some food, drinks to these. Uh, person that uh, they are in in our hearts, so we want to to pass to spend some time with them. Um, but this is our subject that I would like to talk about in other talk. Now I'm going to pass about these ideas that we we have about Mexico uh, that come from the cinema. Or, or the art, or the literature. Uh, here we can see some image of um, the cinema with actors like Maria Felix, Pedro Mendaris. Maybe maybe you know uh, Jael Garcia, that is a famous actor in these days. Or um, here in the picture we have uh, Emilio Elinde Fernandez, who shot a lot of films about the Mexican Revolution with Gabriel Figueroa, a fantastic photographer. Um, here we can see on the other side, one of the murals of Diego Rivera, 
but maybe you are thinking about his wife, Frida Kahlo, a famous actor, uh, painter that has a, a huge exhibition in London some years ago. And then I was thinking about some books written by Octavio Paz or Carlos Fuentes, just for mention two of the writers from Mexico. But maybe the idea that you have in your mind is the archaeological places like Chichen Itza, Tulum, Teotihuacan, or El Templo Mayor. Here we can, we can have a, a representation of the Templo Mayor, the Aztec area that is in the center of the city by the cathedral. But we prefer to think about a uh, summertime and see that we have the possibility to go to some beaches in the coast, um, in the Pacific or in the Atlantic. In this case, we have the Caribbean. This place is Tulum, where you have a fantastic weather and you can enjoy the archeological place uh, from the Mayas. But let's start with, um, with this picture or virtual tour around Mexico, because um, at the end, I decide that the best way to approach the history of Mexico is to visit some museum. And we are going to do uh, the way in, in the virtual, virtual way. So the first place, that I would like to show you is the Museo Nacional de Antropología. This place is a special place because um, today it is one of the most emblematic museums preserving Mexican indigenous legacy. It is a symbol of identity and a mentor of, for generations who stick their cultural roots. Also, its building continues to impress those who visit the museum from all over the world. I remember when I was a child, I always wanted to go to this place because um, if you see in the center of the Patio Central, there is a fountain, okay, full of water because water is one of the four principal elements that they are always present in old culture. So I'm talking about agua, tierra, fuego, y viento. And you can see too many representation about different culture, some of pieces of art, and of course, some pieces like this one. This is Tlaloc, the god of the rain, the water. Uh, the mission is huge, and there are many, many things to see. But let's go to the second stop, that is El Castillo de Chapultepec. This is the National Museum of History and is the site that holds the memory of the history of Mexico, from the conquest of Tenochtitlan to the Mexican Revolution. Its room shows a diversity of objects representative of the fourth century of the history of Mexico. As I told you, the museum is in the Castillo de Chapultepec, built in 1785 during the government of the Viceroy of the New Spain. You have a fantastic view of the city. This one was a presidential resident until 1939, when they decide to make the building the national history. Uh, yes, the, the National Museum of History of Mexico, and you can know all these events through some murals, like for example, this one, so this um, huge mural is full, 20 meters uh, high by five, 10 meters wide. And this is a fantastic mural by Jorge Gonzalez Camarena. 
as you can see, it represents the birth of Mexican culture as a culture of the clash of two different cultures, Nahuatl and Spanish. After the invasion of the Spanish, that they stayed with us almost three centuries, we have the independence. And here we have the work um, of Juan O'Gorman that he has some of the murals in the university too. In this one, you can recognize some of the uh, characters, um, protagonists of the revolution and the revolution, the independent, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about um, Morelos, Hidalgo, Jose Ortiz de Dominguez, mm -hmm. for, for mention some of them. And um, after we have the period dominated by uh, Benito Juarez, La, la Reforma y la Caída del Imperio, because um, with Benito Juarez, um, we have the first uh, constitution, as you can see here in, in the, so you, you have a soldier in this side, and he has a hat with the number 57, is the year of the first constitution of Mexico. After that, we have the period of Porfirio Diaz. Porfirio Diaz was in the power more or less 30 years. And then he escaped, he exiled to France. And now is, is the Mexican Revolution. So in this one, you can see uh, Francisco y Madero. You can see in the background, the Castillo de Chapultepec, where um, you can find these murals. And the last one that I wanted to show you is about the constitution of uh, 1917, where you can see Venustiano Carranza. But if you really like the murals, you must visit the next stop that is El Antiguo Colegio de San Ildefonso. El Antiguo Colegio de San Ildefonso is in the center of Mexico City. It's a colonial building and is next to the cathedral and the Templo Mayor. Maybe I can make bigger. So you can see here the area of the Templo Mayor, the Aztec ruins. And then at the back, you see the cathedral. But let's go to, to see the, the building from outside. No? It's, Amazing, it's huge. This place is considered the bare place of the moralist because inside you can see the murals by Diego Rivera. Like for example, this one with Hernan Cortez and La Malinche. So the moment that um, represent this crash of culture. You must know that the mural are like story books. So, Jose Vasconcelos uh, asked Diego Rivera for this moral that they are incredible, really.
you can see um, some piece of art, some religions uh, pictures, because this place before was running for the Jesuitas. So you can see. All the rooms completely 36 degree around. The mural in this place, um, they are only in, no, no, they are not only by Diego Rivera, but for Jose Clemente Resco. In, Fernando Leal and another artist. Okay. Some of the pictures that you can see here. This is one of the rooms uh, of the university, the National University, UNAM. Star here. Let's move to other one that is really incredible. You can see here, this is the entrance with fantastic decoration. No, you can go down or up the ceiling are amazing and then you can go around the building with this app you think that you can go around you feel like you are in the place So you can open some doors and find some paintings. So I really invite you to, to explore all these places. Uh, the government has uh, a website with many videos from different places, from the north of Mexico, like this one, that is the historical museum of Ensenada in the north. Or you can see, for example, um, other uh, local in Museum of Anthropology from Veracruz, Yucatan, Puebla, different places, different culture. For example, you have these um, heads from the Olmecs. And I mentioned this one because at the moment they just opened a big exhibition in. I think was in Paris. In Paris, you have this exhibition of the Olmecs. They are from the Gulf of Mexico. I'll show you this small video where you can appreciate some of the pieces that they are in the exhibition. Other exhibition is in, in Vienna about the Aztecs. And um, you can look for that one. Now it's not here, I don't know why, but just um, I want to finish with this lovely mural that is in Mexico City. It's by Diego Rivera. 
un día en Alameda, a day in, in the park that is in the center, and you can recognize the artist, Diego Rivera is here, Frida Kahlo, for example, Sor Juan Inés de la Cruz, or you have Porfirio Diaz that we were talking about him. He's a long moron. So there are many things that you can see, but uh, I hope you enjoy the, the talk and we hope to see you uh, soon in the college to talk about Mexico and other Hispanic countries. So for the moment, thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you.